Hey, Bunny, guess what? What? No, you have to actually guess. Recycled human organs. No. Wow. 12. It's 12, isn't it? It is 12. But I like your moxie, kid. You're hired. (laughs) You are now the official White House Undersecretary for Public Diplomacy. (laughs) One of hundreds upon hundreds of key cabinet positions that have not been filled yet. Oh, yes. We don't have an ambassador to Australia. We don't have an ambassador to Egypt. We don't have an ambassador to the Congo, Belize, Ireland, Libya. Yeah. We don't have an ambassador to Libya. Eh, but that one's fine. Nothing bad ever happens in Libya, right? No. <gasps> Nothing bad ever happens in Libya. In fact, I heard from a scientist friend of mine. Yes. That Libya's nuclear weapons are actually full of used pinball parts. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's a pretty deep movie reference. Yes, it is. So if you got that, congratulations. You're a nerd. But that's beside the point. The point is, it's homework time! Yet again on the old Pope on Film podcast. People of the internet, your attention, please. Cease your backpack kid dancing and kindly pay attention! Each week, the dreaded and generically sci-fi sounding Council of Rosans chooses a homework assignment for this podcast via the fiery ritual of carousel. (laughs) And this week, this week, we're finally getting to the bottom of it because Bunny and I, you know, uh, I am, of course, 36 years old. Mm hmm. And Bunny is older than me. He's a ripe old 37. Yes. Mm -hmm. And so we're getting to that point in our lives where our bodies are changing. And it's a a new and confusing time. A time of mystery. Yeah. Yeah. And there is hair where there wasn't hair before. Like my fucking ears. Yeah. So this week, Bunny and I are finally, finally... Learning about our bodies with an old school YouTube playlist that I called TPOF and your body. Mm hmm. So through no fault of my own, I was recently accidentally made aware of a legendary 1950s sex ed film called As Boys Grow. I watched it and it was hilarious. And then because it's YouTube. It played a bunch of different sex ed videos for a, from a number of different times, and I ended up watching about two and a half hours of sex ed videos. Oh, nice! You're what? What was the result of that? What, what was you? What were you like after? Push her off! Don't push her off! Don't push her off! Stop! 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 She she will not sit down unless someone else stands up, and then she will take that seat. But she won't sit on her own. Sit in this empty seat. No, I'm going to take Maxwell's seat. Because that seat's my seat now. That's that's the mind of a one-year-old child. <laughs> so so I watched a crap ton of sex ed videos, and, and I picked four of my absolute favorites. And then, boom... This video playlist. Yes. Four videos. No. Four videos. Let's discuss them. The first one is called As Boys Grow. It's a legendary 1957 educational film starring the actual young boys from the Boys Club of San Francisco. Yes. That is frightening to me. No. Eleanor, can you not throw the ibuprofen in the pizza sauce? She is just, she is, she, she is protesting something. She, she hasn't had a proper nap. That's a good point. And she woke up super crazy early. She's yeah. like outside blocking traffic is. saying, uh, yeah. babies oh. lives matter. <laughs> she's, uh, she's Antifa. But if I put her down for a nap right now, she's just going to wake up and stay up and like, get off the table. Yeah. And she only took like a, maybe like a 20 minute nap while we were driving. In the car. 
yeah. and then that was it. So yeah, it, like it, it's funny because when we got home at like eleven o'clock, I, I I told Amber, I'm like, this baby's gonna become the grumpiest baby in the history of mankind later in the day, and that's where we are now. Okay, so that's yeah, she's not that grumpy, but she's getting there. She's she's revolting. As boys grow, concerns a track team of young boys and a track coach who is definitely molesting some kids. Yes. Yes. But I, I but I did kind of if, like his forthright manner. Yeah, but it's also a little bit weird. Hi, how are you doing? Yes. I am the school track coach. I should be teaching them about running. But I have a chart fetish. Yeah. So here's a chart of the adult male penis we'll be talking about for the yes. next three weeks. <laughs> next, I will be talking with these 12-year-olds about their testes. So, so that's fun. The track coach is yes. teaching you that. Yes, exactly. We have a we have an hey coach, are we gonna be are we going to be getting ready for state finals? No, we're going to be talking about pubic hair. <laughs> but shouldn't we get prepared for, for regionals? Sorry, we're going to be talking about buttholes. Yes. And the surfers like, who surf them. Yeah. Bit inappropriate there, track coach. <laughs> This video is old school ridiculous, and I really loved it. Uh, full disclosure, there are four videos in this playlist, the Pope on Film in Your Body. Yes. The first two I saw at like 1.30 in the morning with D&D. &D. Nice, okay. So Tiana and Destiny and I learned about our bodies together. And let me tell you, it was not at all uncomfortable to learn about these things with my niece. Yeah. Yeah, nothing at all weird about that. Especially the second video. Yes. The sexually mature adult. Yeah. See, see, okay, let me let me go here cuz cuz yeah. I, I sat there and I watched the full first movie and the second movie came up and the first thing I thought it was like, "Look, titties." And then the title came up and I was like, "Well, I guess I'm not a sexually mature adult. <laughs> yeah. 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 Good point. Caught me, PSA. You caught me dead to right. And, and really, okay, wait a second. This was no yeah. PSA. Yeah, no this was no PSA, this one. This was softcore porn posing as a PSA. Yeah, I was confused. Look, uh, evidence because... number one, there were titties. <laughs> I was confused because who in what situation would you show this? Yeah. <laughs> who are you showing this video to? You know, you're not showing it to junior high kids. You're not showing it to high school kids. Mm -hmm. Like, why was this made? Who were you showing this to? So freaking confused. I, no I, I, am, I am stumped. I am completely stumped. I have no idea. Yeah. So this is a, so the second video is called the sexually mature adult. This is a 1973 film that is just bathed in redness. Mm -hmm. It's an, it's a Wiley and sons film that covers the emotions involved in sex. And apparently the four stages of sexual response during intercourse. Yes. Yes, this and was so, about as much a PSA as the 15-minute workout was an exercise show. You know? I mean, yeah. yeah. Uh, so, so how does this uh, short film cover the emotions involved in sex? Easy. By showing full frontal nudity. Yes. I'm pretty sure I saw a dick in this. I, 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 I missed the dick. But I wouldn't be surprised. I'm just kind of shocked because this is YouTube. Yeah. It's educational purpose, though. 
but that's the thing. This this reminded me of those old school sort of grindhouse educational movies they used to make. Yeah. In like the 30s. Back that, before like the hates code came along where it's like, okay, now you take off your shirt. Now you take off your pants. Now take off your panties. Now you two make out. Now you're going to start making out with each other. Okay, now put it in her. No, no, it's it's fine. This is an educational film. Yeah, but wasn't anybody, like, jerking off? But did, they you used... just, did you just happen to see a penis? No, I saw the woman grab the man's penis while they were making out. Yeah, on YouTube. And you saw, you saw, you saw butts and, and I, I, I think we're going to need a screen capture of this one. I need more context. What was, Ask what Destiny. Was this film about? It's a 1973 edu- apparently educational sex ed film called The Sexually Mature Adult. And I'm oh, afraid so and I'm afraid the screen capture is going to be very reminiscent of the Bigfoot video where we'll be looking at him being yeah. like uh, I, yeah, I think it might be a penis. In a dark room. Yeah. I, I, yeah, I it. it's all happening in a dark room, and there's only like weird red lights and stuff, and you can't really make out the people while they're talking about so sex we're not and stuff. About the same video, but probably I not. With the when I when I screamed, tell them about the prostate, you cowards. Yeah, no, no, no. This is different. Every boy tell should them, know about the prostate. Tell them about tell them about what the prostate. The prostate, yeah. They were talking the about one. Is a very the prostate's a very important part of, well, I mean, ejaculation, period. It, it helps with the, um, okay, I've already been drinking, uh, with the uh, semen, not not the sperm, but the semen, like the uh, the juices, the fluids yeah. that help produce to help, like, you know, help the sperm fucking swim up into the wherever it needs to go. Yeah. I swear I just passed my human sexuality class with a fucking A. Yeah. Um, but also, not only that, but they need to know about the prostate so that in the future they can know how they're going to get a finger up their ass by a doctor to do a prostate exam. Yeah. And they don't get caught off guard by that. And these are important things that kids need to know because not only that, but you know what? It can bring pleasure to them, too. And I think if a lot of boys knew that and it was more normalized, a yeah. lot more boys would be sticking their fingers up their asses. <laughs> 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 That's hilarious because you get a lot of uh home uh what is it called heteros you get a lot of heads putting their fingers up their asses yeah. you know yeah. and and i would be that'd be great <laughs> just, just so good you yeah. have you have taken this to a place i have to take it as gay as i can this no. is the month of gay well no okay i was oh, going to say Sorry. that where you took it is uh i am not surprised we have gotten here Oh no! I can. I will make everything as gay as I can. Okay. Any chance I've, I'm given. I'm not. I wasn't talking about the homo, the homosexual. I will take it, it as every. I hate heterosexuals and their fucking homosexual tendencies, even though they want to pretend. You know how many? Okay. TMI. Do you know how many heterosexual men have had my strap on up their ass? <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Don't tell us. Don't tell us. Oh, Did no, you I can't tell? Even tell you. I can't count. Oh, 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 uh, okay. Three? Well, is it At over? Least. Is it over 50? Oh, yeah. Easy. Oh, yeah. Easy. Yeah. Easy. Uh, I mean, I think the number of confirmed bisexual or homosexual, well, I, I don't think they're homosexual. It would be the woman pegging them. But the confirmed uh, bisexuals that ha- I've pegged is a whole lot lower. Do you know why? Because they don't have to go to a woman to get a dick up their ass to pretend like they're still heterosexual. But, but, and that they don't like it. But you know? why does that not like if make you... If you're bisexual you... and you like a dick up your ass, you can go and get an actual dick up your ass. Why does that not make you heterosexual? Home, but you're definitely a homophobe. You're going to hire somebody to pay you. Why does that make you not a heterosexual? No, I'm not saying you can totally be heterosexual and like a dick up your ass, I guess. Well, we're not talking most about a dick. Time, we're talking most about, of the time, no, seriously. We're talking about getting pegged by a female. Most of the time, uh, 
heterosexuals are more open to experiencing with the uh, same sex yeah. as long as the same sex person they're experiencing with, with is also heterosexual because then you're you're still technically heterosexual. It makes it safer because you neither one of you are gay, neither one of you are bisexual. Um, but there's you can be bisexual, and that's okay. But most of these men are, oh, I'm heterosexual, and they are fumbling about asking about having a dick up their ass you know like i I, just... I think i could i think i could take a toy up my ass with a woman i love and still find sex with men icky or just men in general just kind of icky no no and that's perfectly fine but you know what if, if you're married i mean maybe your wife's the prude i don't know i don't know but there's a lot of men who that's what that's why i'm talking about the importance of teaching guys that yeah, sex may be for procreation, but you also it is also for pleasure. And men, you can also derive pleasure from your ass. You don't have to do it with another man. It doesn't make you gay just because you like a finger up your ass. I'm, you know, I mean, have somebody suck your dick with a finger up your ass and rub your prostate? Holy shit. You know, that's a whole new world for somebody who's never been told that. So that's why I'm saying it's so important for, for any I, I'm any glad you studied. <laughs> You're going to have me studied? I, I'm No, I said I'm glad you studied. Well, I'm just I'm, I'm just keeping it real, Bunny. Like, <laughs> I don't care what your... I don't care what sexuality you are. I mean, you don't even have to penetrate to get to the prostate. You can stimulate the prostate from the outside, from your perineum. Like, you know, the, the taint, you can, you can stimulate it from there if you know what you're doing. Okay. So you don't even have to feel icky about having something up your ass. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I just men need to know this because they're missing out on so much. Not that men need another thing that women can't have, but right. It can it can totally just liven up the bedroom for men if they were <laughs> just open up their perk up perk up a Saturday I, I, night. I have, to take it to, I have to take it to a completely different place. Sorry. <laughs> Honey, are you ready to step back in? Hold on. He had to change the baby. Oh, is that what happened there? Apparently, while we were talking about butts, she had her own butt issue. Uh huh. Going on. I just want to say that you gave Bella an engram. Awesome. <laughs> Sorry. You know, the other day, what was it, Bella? You said something. We were talking about something probably supernatural related, uh, most likely. And I was like, yeah, I bet you'd like to know that information, Cass. And Bella looked at me, dead serious, kinky. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Jesus Christ. This must have teenagers. I was, I was so like, I, and I, I went on to, like I naturally do, I went on to my meta group and talked to my friends there. They were all asleep because it was like two in the morning. And Steve was asleep too, so I couldn't say anything to him. And I was like, oh, wow, I feel like a bad parent. I explained the situation. They're like, I don't see a bad parenting in that. I see that you're open about sexuality and, and sex with your kids, and they're comfortable enough to talk about stuff like that with you. Yeah. And even make jokes. Good. So, yes, I'm a good parent. Yeah. Because my kid's like, yeah. King. Yes, being <laughs> open about it. That's, Which that's is our my bread point and about being yeah. open. Yeah, and that's our bread and butter. The third video in this playlist is called <laughs> Molly Grows Up. Yes. It's a 1953 sex ed film for girls that's all about the miracle of menstruation. Yes. It's, it's, it's about an alleged 13-year-old girl named Molly. And let me tell you about what it was like to be a girl back in the 1950s. Um. You had to act like a six-year-old until you got your period. Yes. Uh-huh. Apparently. Golly and, and gee whiz. I, I like playing with dolls and playing with trains, and I can't go to dances or party until I start bleeding from my hoo-ha. Ah, <laughs> when did that happen? Because my granny was raised in the 20s and 13. She was working in the fucking uh, factories. Nope. Not at all. Golly. The thing that I loved about this video, the thing that I loved about Golly, about Molly Grows Up, is that there's a lot of bullshit and bad and bad facts in this video. Yes. Like, uh, Mommy, why does this happen? Who knows? It's a mystery. 
It's like, no, that's bullshit. Number one. <laughs> also, also, like she she has her period. So the so the girl has her period, and then the mom's like, stand up straight. Standing up straight will allow your organs to function better while you're on your period. That's bullshit. And, and, and also, yeah. They were very and also, don't go swimming. Also, big yeah. bullshit. This is a woefully inaccurate <laughs> video. Yes. Hello, girls, and welcome to Molly Grows Up. Girls, your bodies are hideous monstrosities. Yes, they are. When your body menstruates, cover yourself with wet newspaper and lie still on the floor until the menstruation <laughs> subsides. <laughs> Girls, when you start menstruating, remember two words, duck and cover. <laughs> oddly, now, though, the... oddly, though, this one and the first one, I had seen both of these before. Really? Yeah. Nah. That's wonderful. Now the fourth one. What is the called? Fuck was that? No, no. There was a specific one. There's a specific reason why I chose this one. The fourth one was called Human Growth Second Edition, 1962 live action slash animated uh, film. It was actually a remake of a classic 1947 educational film that was also called Human Growth, and they showed that everywhere. The reason why I chose this one is because it's fucked up, it's but not fu fucked up in the sense that it's really messed up. I mean, literally, the sound doesn't fit. Yeah, the 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 visuals don't fit. Sometimes a scene will skip and you'll see the same visual over and over again. And when I first saw it, I had a hard time watching it. But then I realized, oh, my God, it's like I'm back in a classroom. So I yeah, back yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, back in the day when you were watching on like an eight millimeter, you were watching an eight millimeter video, but then you also had a cassette uh -huh. that you popped into a cassette player and, and you had to like sync it up just right, but it never did sync up just right. No, no. You know? but, but, so, so but, but like halfway in or toward the end, that was a completely different fucking soundtrack. Yeah, yeah, you you must yeah, have watched this all the way through, because all of a sudden they're showing the picture of the vagina, not the not the real. Well, they did show a flat out cartoon vagina, um, but they have they have it with the fallopian tubes and all that. That one, the one that looks like very much like my undead cow symbol. Okay, and yeah, but then listening to the soundtrack. They started talking about teeth and and <laughs> and stalking prey and and yeah. all of this fucked up stuff. And I was like, because really, when it when we first started watching it, it was like, OK, yeah, it's out of sync. It's bad. OK, great. I, I don't really know if I can take much more of this. <laughs> OK, I don't think I could take much more of sex as educational public service announcements and then this took such a fucking turn that i'm just like where is that soundtrack coming from <laughs> no fucking idea i love that so much yeah I, so I was like this definitely got points up all of a sudden yeah, one of the the thing that 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 got me was that it, it's got like bland music and unsynced audio and and like the 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 real old looking animation and then just the early '60s whiteness of like the the kids and the students and the teachers and everything that yeah. that for a while I thought for sure that this video was somehow a parody of this video. <laughs> Like, like the video was a parody of itself. Like I had to make sure like, our, so we're 100 percent certain that that college humor didn't make this right. I don't know if Let we are. I don't know if we are. I think somebody had to have redone this. Yeah, because how yeah. many how many classes would this have to play in 
before somebody realizes that the picture of the vagina and saying that it has teeth is probably yeah. not the most educational thing in the world. Yeah. <laughs> but that but the the so video really the video really touched me. Uh, and then I cried for a really long time in the bathtub about it because yeah. it, it took me without consent. But in when I was in when I was in fifth grade, my teacher Mrs. Buckner would just put on old educational movies all the time and then fall asleep in the back of the class. And so she would just put something on and then immediately go to the couch and fall asleep. And so if something was fucked up, we would just have to deal with it. Mm -hmm. So if the sound wasn't working and we only got a visual, we can't tell the teacher because our our seventy four year old teacher is asleep on the couch. You know, she's not fucking waking up. Okay, can so you tell the people have, in the background okay, that they're going to have to go to that they're going to have to go to Thunderdome if they keep it up? Yeah, one by one, each and last one of them, I, I, I'm sending them to Thunderdome. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So, 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 yeah, I, I learned a lot from this video. The main thing that I learned from this video is um, there's a way to say the word testes that can really creep me out. That's what I learned I, from I, this video. I did not notice that because I had other things that really creeped me out. Um, I, I, I kind of liked seeing how, how, uh, uh, how a clitoris engorges. Yeah, in gorgeous. I also no, but this it, it, could it, not it, have been made by Disney. Yeah, yeah. I felt like everything in this video was about the testes. Yeah. Why am I having my period? Well, the testes. Yeah. <laughs> Do you want me to explain why? My my breasts are getting bigger. Why are they getting the bigger? Well, the male <laughs> testes. Okay, you know what? Teach. <laughs> you seem really obsessed with little kids' as testes. I'm just going to move on. Okay. Hey, teacher, I have a question. Is Santa Claus real? Well, the testes. This is a man who teacher? is... This is a man who has uttered the phrase cough, but you don't have to turn your yeah. head. Mm -hmm. hey, and so... So that's it for homework this week. Bunny, I hope you learned a lot about I the testes. Did. Hope you learned a lot about menstruation and yes. testes. Testes. And we all One, sincerely two, hope that three. your hearts, minds, and veins and testes have all been suitably opened. Ah! But don't think you're getting out of here that easily, Buck Chacho. Buck Chacho, a combination of Bucko and Muchacho, ver uh, verbal copyright 2018, the Pope on Film podcast and Reverend Steve Allred's reserved. Don't forget next week's homework. And for next week, we will be getting healthy and working out with Angela Lansbury's Positive Moves, a book and a 55-minute VHS tape that is infamous for a scene that may or may not feature Angela Lansbury masturbating. <laughs> Wait, are you doing the trip of water? No, we're doing, we're doing Angela Lansbury's workout video. Could you Angela Lansbury's. Angela Lansbury in the shape of water? No, there's a scene imagine where Angela Lansbury. Imagine Angela Lansbury fucking a fish. Okay, we, we're, we're doing that next week. We're not doing that now. So oh it. man, I already imagined that in my teen years. So, so zip it, lock it, put it in your pocket. There's a scene at the end where she's talking about relaxing, and so she's in a bathtub, and she's very relaxed. Yeah, but so like shape of water. Yeah, shape of water. She <laughs> she shapes of waters in this workout video, but she shapes of waters. She shapes of waters. She shapes that water up real. <laughs> Save your quip for next week. Yes. I have found the entire 55 minute. I will be here. I'll That's be a good point. I have found the entire 55 minute video <laughs> on YouTube. So next week, Angela Lansbury's positive moves. That is homework for next week. Please shoot me the link to that. This sounds fascinating. For some reason, it it yeah. it, it it brings my mind back to. Michael Bolton on baseball. 
Ah, yes, Michael Bolton on baseball, a classic homework assignment from the yes. Bullpup Film Podcast. Yes. Oh, I, I think it's because of the level of celebrity we're talking about. Yeah. Uh, here it is, right here, Angela Lansbury, full video. I am sending it to you now, my friend. Get that out of the way. Uh, let's see. Bunny Williams. I'm going to send it to Destiny while I'm here. Okay. And then just to, and then just to be safe, uh, Bruce Nobles. There you go. <laughs> and Jeannie. I'm, at it. I'm just sending it to everybody. There you go. Everybody's getting. You get a copy of Angela Lansbury masturbating. And you get a copy of Angela Lansbury masturbating. It's like a really weird episode of Oprah. Yes. So everybody just got that. So that's good. So be sure and join us next week for more homework with the Pope on Film Podcast. And cut. <laughs>